Step 5. Door Installation Remember, do not cut the bands or wrapping on the door until time to do so. Also, make sure the door is facing the proper direction before installing the tension assembly. The recommended installation procedure places the tension end of the door on the right side if you are on the inside looking out. Using the dual tensioner assembly spring roll pin located in the knurled wheel, rotate upward in the direction that clears the axle. Slide the dual tensioner assembly over the axle and tensioning hub with the arrow pointing toward the wall. Release the spring roll pin. On the non-tension end of the door, slide the axle support over the axle with the arrow pointing toward the wall. With the door still banded, orient the bottom bar to where it is facing back into the building. Using a forklift that has padded forks to avoid denting or damaging the door curtain, Lift the door into place and leave it on the forklift until the door is securely fastened in the mounting brackets. Position the door on the brackets with dual tensioner and tension axle support resting safely on top of the mounting bracket flange. If a chain hoist or electric opener is used, the mounting bracket may need to be adjusted on the mounting plate to allow enough room for the hoist or door opener. The door should be positioned as close as possible to the door header and still be able to rotate the door so that the bottom bar will clear the door header. Each end of the door should be the same distance from the header and the curtain must be centered in the opening. Loosely attach the dual tensioner assembly to the door mounting bracket flange using the hardware provided. Tighten the red, square-headed set screw on the tensioner bracket. On the non-tensioner end, loosely attach the axle support to the door mounting bracket flange using the hardware provided. Tighten the red square-headed set screw on the support bracket. If you are also installing an electric drive end, do so now using the instructions provided with your opener. If it has a drive chain, do not attach it until the door spring tension has been adjusted which is the last step. Position the door with it still wrapped and banded. Remember, do not cut the bands until instructed to do so. Push the door assembly as close as possible toward the header, but so it can still rotate freely. Each end of the door should be the same distance from the header, and the curtain must be centered in the door opening. Make sure the mounting brackets are square once the door has been mounted. Once the door is properly aligned, tighten the bolts to the mounting bracket flange. Once the door is in place, and if space permits, you need to set the spring initial tension. Do not cut the bands yet, but rotate the door one and a half revolutions in the direction that would send the bottom bar down through the guides. If your building design does not allow for door rotation, lower the door curtain into the guides and follow the instructions in step six to set the door tension. Remember, the door is under extreme tension, so follow these steps carefully. While holding the door, preferably at the bottom bar, cut the tape, plastic wrap, and bands that hold the door in a coil. Be very careful at this point. The door is under spring tension and can be very dangerous if not handled properly. Direct the bottom bar down into the entry of the guides and bring the door curtain all the way to the ground. Secure the door in the closed position with the slide locks on the bottom bar. Slide the head stop from outside to inside. Secure each head stop with the hardware provided. Once both head stops are securely installed, fold the tab at the top of each guide over each head stop to prevent any upward movement. Once the initial spring tension is set and the curtain is in the guide, the door should be able to be pushed closer to the header, reducing the angle of entry into the guides. Then, unlock the slide locks on the bottom bar and check the door for proper operation by lowering and raising the door.